Hey, Jane. How you going, Jay? Good, good. Thanks for letting me interview you, buddy. Now, what what month did you first come to me? Do you remember? I think it was about June. June. Um, June, yeah. July, August. About three so, months-ish. Yeah, about, that, that's about, about right. Okay. And when you came to me for help, where were you at in life? Where was I at in life? Um, I'd just come out of a... Um, 22 year old, 22 year marriage and um things weren't working in that because i was yeah just i was quite masculine with the way that i um conducted myself and um <clears throat> so you know i'd been separated for for over 6 months at that stage before i came to you and um yeah on all the dating apps and that sort of thing and just trying to trying to find my right partner um yeah and just hitting and missing all the time and yeah so been watching you for about six months on and off going will it work won't it work i'm doing everything he says but once you actually get into the program everything just seems to just come together there's yeah and all that extra support is absolutely amazing you did really really good jane really good um, how old were you again? Uh, so I'm 44. 44. Awesome. Very good. Very good. Um, so it took you about three months. Is there one thing, if, if you could go back to your old self back then, is there one thing you could sort of really tell or tell someone in your shoes what, like, what's one thing that they could really make a big difference? Really learning about masculine and feminine energy that was my massive turning point in my life for me um just just learning how to be a true feminine and being able to sit in that i'd never sat in that in my life and being able to actually do that there's something that was always missing and now i feel complete um yeah that that is the biggest thing I've learned and it has changed my whole life it's changed my relationship with my daughters it's changed my relationship with my son and my friends choices have become a lot better as well I've been able to get rid of a lot of toxic relationships because of it so you know it your program's not just about finding your soul partner it's about changing your life very true very true it's kind of holistic hey how old are your kids James so I've got an eighteen-year-old son, a seventeen-year-old daughter, and a thirteen-year-old daughter. Wow, wow! So you're, you're you're saying your parenting has changed a little bit there? That that is correct. I'm a lot calmer, um, and which has stopped a lot of conflict with with my middle child. Um, her and I are very much alike, and um, I'm noticing that she's becoming a lot softer, a lot more feminine. Um, she's still a strong personality. Um, being feminine doesn't mean that you you become weak. It just means you conduct yourself in a in a better manner. And um, I've noticed that yeah, it's really rubbed off on all three of my children as well. With how we how we communicate. Awesome, awesome. So you came to me frustrated and not going so well in your love life, and now you're in a ten out of ten relationship. Tell me a little bit about this guy. Ah, uh, so he's. He's just amazing. Like he's he's quite masculine. Um, we balance each other out really, really well. Um, I noticed that he's he's been single for about eight years. He wasn't he wasn't looking for anyone either. Um, and we just yeah, when we met, it just sort of we just sort of clicked. And you know, he's taken a little bit to get into actually having a relationship because he's been single, batching for so long. Um, and, you know, he said, oh, I've never met anyone like you. He's a, he's a rural bloke, so, you know, dealing with a lot of um, masculine women all the time and he still can't get his head around that, you know, I'm still very capable, still very strong, but still really feminine. And um, to be honest, it still blows me away that I can conduct myself in that manner. Um, but just being around a man that is quite masculine um, and in a healthy manner is is amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
Um, I sort of break down my program into two different parts. I say I get you to a 10 out of 10 within who you are and then a 10 out of 10 relationship as well. So that that masculine and feminine energy, the confidence, the setting the boundaries, having hard conversations, getting rid of the toxic relationships and all that sort of stuff, that's all that part of getting yourself to a 10 out of 10, hey? That's correct, yeah. Um, and, yeah, I, I don't know that I could have done it as successfully without without the help and support of yourself and the other team members and the group chats, they're absolutely amazing. You, you're always pulling something out um, and, yeah, it's yeah, just all works so well together. That's awesome. That's awesome. So on average, Jane, I've coached thousands of people. On average, people in this program achieve a 10 out of 10 within about three months. Some people take a lot longer. Some people do a little bit faster. But on average, it's about, it's about three months. And uh, did you think it was going to happen so quick? Like when you first came to me and you were just struggling for ages, did you think in three months you'd be in a 10 out of 10 relationship? Oh, definitely not. I thought it would be at least, you know, five or six months towards the end of the program. Um, if I still pinch myself that it's like, yeah, that it happens so quickly. Life has just, yeah, done a complete flip for me. It's it's unreal. It happens, it happens super quick as soon as... As soon as someone learns about masculine and feminine energy and they become a, what I call a high value person, because this guy, he would have met you and go, he, she's the best woman I've ever met. I, I have to be with her. You know, I've been single for 10 years or whatever it was, but I can't, I, I got to be with this woman. She's just makes me feel so good. She's so nurturing and kind and joyous and supportive. I got to be with her. Hey. That's, that's exactly right. And with that nurturing and supporting, you know, there's a difference between being a, being a girlfriend and being a mother. And when you learn that um, energy properly, um, you, you don't mother them at all. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. Do you think masculine and feminine energy is a big problem in today's society? Like people just don't get it. They're just they're struggling with relationships because they don't really sure how to embrace it properly. And women think being feminine is about being the guy's mother and all this sort of – seems like a lot of people are confused about it. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. And, and once you really step into your feminine energy, it really stands out um, how feminine so many men are and – you, you you can see women trying to to be feminine, but yeah, I end up cringing because yeah, because they just yeah they get into their masculine and um they, they're destroying themselves. Unfortunately, it's a really it's a really complicated thing. Um, I wish more people knew it. One day we'll keep we'll keep helping as many people as we can. Keep showing up on the group calls. I know you got a 10 out of 10 now, Jane, but keep coming to the group calls. Keep talking to me. If you've got any questions at any time, I want to make sure it's maintained at a 10 out of 10. But look, with, with how you are, Jane, I've no doubt this relationship's forever and, and it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, no, we're both, we're both really excited um, on where, where things are going. Thank does, you so much. How does a 10 out of 10 feel? Like I've never felt before. Um, you know, I, I look back on life now and I'm like, you know, what I thought was love was really just lust and this is just next level. It's warm, it's it's nurturing, it's kind, it's submissive in a healthy form on both parties. Um, you, you're not submissive because you're scared, you're submissive because you love each other and you want to communicate, you want to make sure that you don't get angry and rock the boat and yeah it's it's just yeah something i've never experienced before that's awesome what would you tell if say i was talking to a lady and she was in her mid 40s and she thought she's getting too old for love she wants to give up she's been married for 20 years got divorced she doesn't want to do relationships again if she thinks she's too old what would you say to her you're never too old um you know, you never know who's who's around the corner. You never know what situation you're going to be in. Um, yeah, life life really has only just begun for me because because I've found love and I probably have you know lost ten years or gained ten years um, because yeah because I feel so happy and complete. That's awesome. That's awesome. So proud of you, Jane. I love watching this journey that you go on. That's really cool. 
Um, yeah, keep showing up on the group call. Super proud of you and enjoy it. Embrace it. And no doubt you're a fantastic role mother, role model for your kids now. And that's that's awesome too. Thank you, Jake. Thanks, Jane.